Flavor family, what is up? To an early edition of hashtag Fridays with Flav, we're actually calling this the early bird special because you know, when I was a kid, I used to go to uh, Florida with my grandparents. If you got to the restaurant before a certain time, there was a big discount. So I figured there's no discount right now, but it's kind of fun to make an early Friday dinner. Plus my man Art and I have to go to the uh, meetup later on. We're doing a Chicago meetup at the grocery store with a bunch of Flav City family members. So Amira is here. The runner-up, Amira, to the Nirvana chocolate, although you never know, the winner might not go. So you guys, we're gonna have a great time hanging out. It is three o'clock p.m. in Chicago. The stock market's closed, which means the kitchen is open. My man Art is here. Happy Friday, everybody. Uh, let us know if you could hear both of us okay. Can you see us okay? Leave a comment down below, and also uh, let us know where you're watching from, right? We want as many people from around this globe watching as possible. We got Grand Rapids, Michigan here. We got Leslie's here, Marty, Mike. We can all hear you, you're good. We got Pam from North Carolina. So we're much earlier than normal, which is interesting. I don't know if less people are gonna be on because they're still at work. Uh, either way, we're gonna have a great time and hopefully uh, make some delicious food. Here's the recipe for tonight. We're making keto recipes from the cookbook. We're gonna make a variation of this recipe. In the book, this is kefta, Moroccan spiced turkey kefta with a golden turmeric sauce. I'm subbing out the turkey and using pasture raised ground pork from Thrive Market, but we're still gonna make that yummy turmeric sauce. And I'm gonna serve it with this kind of, a very similar kind of crunchy slaw that we made last Friday on the stream. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be relatively easy. And then Art and I are gonna clean and head over to uh, Mariano's for the meetup tonight. We got Oregon in my house. Buenas tardes para todos. Muchas gracias. Clarissa, an old, a very old fan from, I think, is it South America, Clarissa? We got uh, Pensacola, Florida, Los Angeles, Las Vegas. Let's uh, get some more people in the house. So take the link here, share it over to Facebook and your Instagram stories and say, yo, let's hang out with Bobby and Art, Rose and Desi on a Friday night. A Friday afternoon, I should say. Algeria in the house. Algeria? Wow. Nebraska, welcome. Okay, so I think what's gonna make this recipe awesome is this. We're using pasture-raised ground pork. I talked about this last night on Instagram stories, and these guys are the sponsor of the video on Sunday. You cannot find pasture-raised pork at the grocery store. A few places like ButcherBox has it, but Thrive has this amazing pasture-raised pork from a very small family farm in Georgia, Georgia Peaches, called White Oaks Pasture. And it's pasture-raised, they give the pigs, get this, peanuts and pasture-raised eggs as a supplemental feed. The reason why they give them the eggs is sometimes uh, the eggs get broken and the shells are kind of fractured. So they give it to the pigs along with the normal diet that has foraging stuff and a little bit of non-GMO grain. This is the kind of pork you want to eat. I made a pork stew last night on Instagram. The flavor was amazing. All right, we just had it for leftovers. How good was that? The flavor was even more amazing today, I have to assume. Second day stew, baby. What do we always say? You make a soup, you make a chili. Day one, yummo. Day two, yumtastic. Day three, yummo off the charts, right? Really good stuff. Day eight, not so yummo. Yeah, I think day, day four to five is about the peak flavor. So we're gonna start with that. It starts you, turning into a has-been by that point. Yeah, it's a has-been stew, exactly. And it's kind of funny, I'm calling this uh, a Moroccan uh, uh, kefta because they don't really eat pork in the Middle East, but this is my adapted version, but it works with ground turkey, ground chicken, ground beef, anything you want. Now, how are we gonna keep it keto, right? Any kind of kefta meatball meatloaf is gonna have some filler to lighten up the texture. What should I use in here to keep it keto? You guys let me know, and if you're just joining, what is up, Art and Bobby in the house in Chicago, Please leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. Uh, for whoever just asked, Art does not have a dog. <laughs> Amira says almond. Uh, oh, Clarissa is from North Carolina. Thank you. Uh, Nada says almond flour. <clears throat> we got, uh, let's see, New Jersey. Amira says flour, almond flour. You got it. Almond flour. And I just love doing it. And I love keeping it actually dairy free by instead of soaking the breadcrumbs in uh, milk or cream, doing it in almond milk. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the almond flour here. That should be enough. Scranton PA in here. Oh, nice. Scrantonicity. Is that uh, Michael? What was that? Michael Scott. Scrantonicity, that was the band of someone, right? Kevin from the office. Oh, really? Police cover band, Scrantonicity. So keeping it dairy-free by rehydrating the almond flour 
in a little bit of unflavored organic almond milk. And I do this with my turkey meatball recipe and my beef meatball recipe. It's lovely because if you omit oh. this, the texture's a little heavy, right? If you ever have a meatball or meatloaf without the filler, it can be a little dense. This lightens up the party and makes it really tasty. Shout out to Tyler, Texas, Kelly Thedford, welcome. Is that the same my one old, as always, old, Kelly? I don't, my old stomping ground, so. Not, I, that's, I see Tyler, I gotta report it. Who's the one who normally comes in from Tyler? That's like a girl named, remember? Christine or something? No, there's a Christine from McKinney, which is... Oh, McKinney, North that's North right. Dallas, that's yeah. right. All right, so one pound of ground pasture-raised pork. We'll add about a teaspoon of kosher salt. Now, I have a question for you guys. Is ground pork salty by itself? Yes or no? What do you guys think? And then I'm going to put some pepper in there. And then I really want to make this Moroccan or Middle Eastern in flavor. So these are my spices. Check it out, Art. If you know me well, you know for sure I'm going to use the first one, smoked paprika. Smell this. It might be unexpected to you. Get your nose in there. Thank you. Cinnamon, right? A little bit of cinnamon and savory recipes is so darn good. Some ground coriander, which is the seed of uh, cilantro, cumin, and cayenne pepper. Carter uh, from Northeast England. Welcome. So this is interesting. Karen, my boy Scotty, Kelly, Irene, Kimberly, Carl, um, they all said that ground pork is salty. Art, is ground pork salty? I'm going to say no. No. So people have this misconception that pork is salty because bacon is salty. My friends, any kind of pork besides bacon is bland as can be. Think about a chicken breast, a chicken thigh. It's completely unseasoned. So you have to add the seasoning. So people get freaked out when they're making pork chops. Oh, I shouldn't salt it because it's salty. They're never salty, right? It's this crazy idea that we have. Shaheen in the house. Oh, Shaheen. Shaheen. All the way from Dubai. Exactly, Amira. Pork is bland. Think of pork just like chicken. Ground chicken, bland. Chicken breast, bland. Pork chops, bland. Ground pork, bland. So we have to liven up the party. So let's add some of our spices. Sumac and Aleppo pepper or turmeric would be great too, according to Nada Alanzor. I think that's a great, great idea. You're not going to garnish with uh, sumac. Remind me later on, please. So... Let's put Leslie G and Katie. about three quarters of a teaspoon of smoke and smell that. Amira and Leslie and Laura, get your nose in there. Smoked paprika <laughs> is delicious because it's red pepper that is dried and smoked, just like a brisket, and then ground into a powder. Lovely flavor. A little bit of cinnamon. The thing is, if you go overboard, it's going to be overpowering. If you live in the Middle East, like Shaheen, putting cinnamon and stuff like kefta in kebabs and stews is very popular. Oh, Shaheen, hope your husband's feeling better. He's been hospitalized for almost a week. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow, Shaheen, what's it, what does he have? You guys have had a bug in the house for, like, I feel like over a month. That's horrible. Ground cumin, which is the second most popular spice in the world, behind what? What is the most popular spice in the world? And think, think spice, not mineral. Salt is a mineral. And then a little bit of coriander, which almost has like this burnt citrus flavor that I love. So those are our spices. We need a little bit of freshness in there. So I'm going to chop some parsley. You could use cilantro, but I don't have it on hand. And what is it, like 15% of people think cilantro tastes like soap. And it's not a preference thing. They have a genetic disposition to actually taste that. So it's very interesting. It's nice that you said disposition and not disorder. <laughs> That's kind of like on video, Bobby will often say. And one of the side effects of this oh my God, I do that. powder, I'm like, eh, added bonus, Bobby. Yeah, I know. We did that in the video we filmed this week. I was talking about the fact that as an added bonus, collagen peptides have 10 grams of protein. And I'm like, one of the side effects of this, and it's like, you mean added bonus? And I'm like, yeah, good point. Side effects is usually the drug commercials where it's like, side effects include nausea, diarrhea, uh -huh. vomiting. Shaheen says her husband's back home now. He had a viral, bacterial, and sinus infection all at the same time. That's brutal. I'm happy he's feeling better. Yeah, that's horrible. All, all, all of our best to him. Man, oh man. Can we use beef instead? Good question, Maria. Maria, you can use beef. You can use turkey. You can use pork. You can use ground lamb. That's the beauty. Just make Wild sure it's hog ground. if you're in Texas. For sure. If you're using beef, try to get 80-20. All right, explain the difference and what it means if something says it's ground beef, 80-20, 90-10, 95-5. The first number is the lean number, second number is the fat number, and the leaner it is, it's going to come out drier. You want more fat for juiciness and flavor. Exactly. 80-20 uh, would be about as high as Bobby would probably go. 
Yeah, well, I'd go higher, but you can't get that at the grocery store. Oh, I meant to say in terms of leanness. Oh, yeah, exactly. Uh, so, okay, questions here. So somebody said venison, question mark. Uh, I would say yes, but you might need to add more fat. because You have to. Pretty lean. Great. Pretty lean. Great point, Art. Uh, what was the other question I had here? Crap. Like when I see 95.5 at the grocery store, I cringe because it's so lean. You are 100% guaranteed to overcook that beef. And remember, fat is flavor. You want the fat. Don't be afraid of it, especially if it's grass-fed, pasture-raised uh, beef. That's the good stuff, y'all. Jaleesa Thomas uh, says or asks, what is it that you're drinking? Uh, I'm drinking uh, one of my favorite drinks. It's actually a startup out of Illinois called S. Look for them. It's one of the only flavored water companies in the country that doesn't use natural flavors. And it's flat. It's not sparkling. Whereas the uh, Spindrift, which is the other flavored water company, has uh, bubbles. Bubbles. But I'm like Michael Jackson. If I want bubbles, wow. I just get bubbles with chimpanzee. Well, Marty, I can't attest to this, but Marty says, same for kangaroo, extremely lean. <laughs> yeah. our, our stores here don't, I've yet to find one that sells kangaroo. Yeah, we don't have kangaroo. I did see kangaroo meat in Cole's grocery store in Australia. Not here. It's just very lean, yeah. All right, let me make sure I have everything in here. What Garlic kind of fat parsley. could I use of venison? You could use some pork fat. I would use ground pork fat. That'd be great. Just go to the, or ground bacon would be lovely too. Ground fatty bacon. Well, thank you, George. Uh, I need a little bit of, uh, that's it. So we have, once again, ground pork, garlic, parsley, fresh herbs. Oh, onion. Onion, cumin, paprika, a little bit of red onion. So Leslie G, who's in Katy, Texas, uh, says, my husband is working right now watching you guys. Can y'all say hello to Omar Ruiz from Houston, Texas? Please. Nice. Omar, what's up, buddy? I love the fact that you're at work and you're watching us. That is my kind of job, my friend. All right, what's going on? We've got 373 people. Can you use duck fat? <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, but it has to be the solid form, not liquid form. Time out. Sharing is caring. Take the link from the stream. Put it over to your Instagram story. Say, yo, Bobby and Art are hanging out in the kitchen with hashtag Fridays with Flav, the early bird edition. Put it on your Facebook wall. Be like, where else do you want to be at work? Like my buddy, uh, what's his name again? Eduardo? You know? No, you want to be watching us, hanging out, having a good old time. Sharing is caring. A couple things in the description Omar, box below. That? Omar, thank you. If In case you didn't see my post this week, our book now is officially in Costco. But here's the deal. It's in 15 Costco's across the country. The list of those stores is down below in the description box. It's mostly in the Pacific Northwest. Costco said to us, if it does well, meaning if it almost sells out or does sell out, they will place an order nationwide. So I am mobilizing the Flav City family. If you live near those Costco's, please spread the word. Let's go buy a book. Uh, I talk about it in tomorrow's Costco video because a nationwide order would be amazing. So we saw it this week at the Costco in Chicago in Lincoln Park and had a blast doing it. Ran into a bunch of Flav City fans there. So once again, the list is down below in the description box. Also down there is the link to my Flav City Amazon store. I spent a lot of time the last couple of weeks organizing it for the holidays. It's uh, amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City. Down there also is the links for signed cookbooks, which we have a couple left, and for the keto chocolate truffles. But the Costco thing is huge, and I'm counting on you guys to help get the word out there because this would be awesome. I walked in there. It was our book next to Rachel Ray, next to Ina Garten, next to Reed Drummond, the Pioneer Woman. It's like, oh, so cool, right? So, Bobby, say somebody doesn't have one of those 15 Costco's near them and say the books that are still available for sale here. Yes. The signed ones are sold out. Where else can they get your book? Well, you can also get it on Amazon.com, right? So that's the place where we're almost at 700 five-star ratings on Amazon. So just search Flav City on Amazon or use my link in the description box. Um, that's the most important thing because that's how we got on the radar of Costco. Char it's Troyer in the house. Char from Michiana. So unfortunately, there's no Costco stores anywhere on the East Coast. They didn't choose any Texas, any Florida. It's mostly like Washington State, Oregon, Idaho, Colorado, one place in Maple, Maplewood or Mapleton, um, Minnesota. Very, very strange, but they have a reason and a method to their madness. But I have a good feeling we're going to we're gonna do it, right? Corey P. says, are you ever coming to Florida? Can you bring Rose? Yes, my mom and I have never seen a baby as cute as Rose. <laughs> um, yes, we have not been to Florida, but it's overdue. Once Rose gets a little older, we're going to start traveling with her everywhere. Uh, George Ramos says, Bobby, have you ever been to El Paso, Texas? I have not. Okay, I have right. not. 
Uh, LA, no, the only Costco in California is in Carlsbad, which is like just outside of San Diego. Listen, they placed a very strange order, but I'm gonna have to trust them that they know what they're doing. But once again, full list is down below in the description box. It's just really strange. So five locations in Washington state, Whoa, four in Sean Oregon, Troyer. Idaho, one in Tucson, Oh, Char, Char happy Troy, holiday season. Chat, wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> we have to have million subscribers share. I agree, Auntie Uber. Now, this is how we keep it keto, right? In case we missed it, we mix some almond flour with some almond milk, keeping it almond on almond action. And we put that in there. So once again, ground pasture raised pork, spices, seasonings, garlic, and onion. Now we're gonna form that. Take my bear paws here and just mix it all up. You're also wanted in Albuquerque, New Mexico. You know what? I love to go to New Mexico, especially during chili season. Try some of them hatch green chilies. That sounds good. I've always wanted to see one of those chili roasters. It's like a big um, bingo kind of like circular thing. They have a fire that roasts the chilies as they turn it. It's crazy. Angel, is the balloon festival Albuquerque or Santa Fe? Okay, so it's really important at this point not to over mix the mixture. A lot of people when they make meatballs or meatloaf, overdo it, and that actually makes them kind of tough. So I want it to be a little on the soft side. And look, I'm just gonna form like this, Art. Doing the water trick? Um, I don't know if I need to, but I might oh. do it. So it's gonna be roughly this size, but see how they're relatively soft? You want that. If you pack them too hard, they're gonna be dense. Albuquerque is the home of the balloon festival. Oh, nice. Thank you. All right, so I need to get a, you want to grab me a plate or no? Al yeah, Alabama you. loves you, by the way. Alabama. And Marilyn tells us that the microphone, and laughing, uh, microphone picking up the squishing. <laughs> what, are we, what do we call that art? The AS. Oh, uh, ASMR. Experience. Just like we did uh, last week with the crunching of the tacos. That's right. Everyone put together your hands and make some noise for the lovely, the talented Desi Parrish in the house. <sighs> <laughs> and a ten dollar super chat from Kieran Ahmad. Oh wow! Hey Bobby, just checking in. Wanted to ask, have you checked out Jamie Oliver's cookbook, Veg? It has some really good recipes. So I'm staring right now at my cupboard over there. I have a few cookbooks only, and I have Jamie's previous one, the uh, Five Ingredient Meals, and I'll be getting his Veg. Is it available in the U.S. yet? I wasn't sure if it was, but I will get that. Jamie's like one of the best. So I'm forming this kefta bib. Nice bib. I didn't put You're a, the king of kefts. I know. I didn't put an egg in here, but I don't think we need it, you know? Shaheen says, the hairstyle really suits you, Desi. You look stunning. Hi, Shaheen. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, Jamie is the best. Actually, I think we need an, an egg. Can you grab one egg? Sure. It's a little loose to me. Roswell, New Mexico watching us. So I want a little bit of a binder. In the book, I use ground turkey, which is very creamy. The ground pork is not like that. Um, but see, it's a little crumbly, so we're gonna put a pasture-raised egg for pasture-raised pork. Guys, keep leaving comments down below. Let us know where you're watching from and what you're making for dinner. I know it's a bit early, it's only 3.20. Yeah, crack it in there if you don't mind. Folks are asking about Rose, where is she? She just went down for a nap, a much needed nap, because we did a photo shoot earlier, she didn't want to take a nap before the photo shoot. And she, I mean, she went through it like a champ. And yeah, she spent well, what photo shoot did we do? Christmas photo. Yeah. For a Christmas card. She's such a cutie. Yes, you can use beef. Okay. That's why my hair is done again. <laughs> All right, that's better. Take a look at it. See, now it's kind of coming together a little better here. Are you making this tonight at Mariano's? No, I'm not cooking at all at Mariano's. That's the beauty. I get to hang out. Mariano's is providing the food. Why isn't Bobby using water with? You know what? I could, Ooh, but I feel like I, it's not really sticking that much, the pork, you know? I don't think I need it. Look. Well, now that you added the egg, I think. Yeah. Good. Don't let Donnie watch, otherwise she'll be upset. He always uses my tr my trick. Are you guys going to collaborate with the Keto Connect couple? You never know. We were planning to, but like it was a busy summer. Yeah, we, we wanted to, but they, we were both pregnant and all that stuff. But we'll, we'll do it for sure eventually. Those guys are crushing it. Going on this summer? No, <laughs> major, That's right. Major and they were pregnant too. That's right. <laughs> so. To, to go with this show art, we're gonna make this golden turmeric tahini sauce. This is straight from the cookbook. I'm just subbing out turkey and using ground pork, and that's just gonna be 
tahini, which is right here, Art. If you don't know what tahini is, Shaheen can tell you. It's basically the Middle Eastern version of peanut butter. It's ground sesame seed paste, and it's nutty and slightly bitter, and I love it. Hey, Desi, can you preheat my uh, nonstick pan over medium heat, please? George, this is the iPhone XR. And what did I just order today, Art? The iPhone 11 Pro Max. <laughs> From Apple. <laughs> uh, yes. Hey guys, choose the fat we're going to cook this in. Should we cook it in ghee or avocado oil? What do y'all want to see it in? Yeah, I actually ordered two new iPhone 11 Pro Maxes today. And I'm really excited because there's an app right called, uh, what's it called? Clip? Clip? Filmic. Filmic. Filmic Pro. Where pretty soon you can use both cameras at the same time, the front and the back camera. So imagine we're at the grocery store and I can film the product, but at the same time film my face so I can be talking and filming at the same time with both cameras. Game changer. Although we don't know when they're going to have that, right? Yeah, I think I need to watch that whole video again. <laughs> we'll see what they're saying. I... So what are people saying here? Uh, avocado oil, avocado, ghee, avocado, ghee. Oh, it's really, really. Flip a coin. Yeah. Ghee. I think if my gut says more people said avocado oil. Okay. Then but then should... I'm probably wrong. Can you drizzle some avocado oil, babe? Well, Maybe I'll do a little the bit geese, of. The geese are chiming in. I'll do, a, you know, let's do 50-50. Put uh, some avocado oil, babe, and then use the ghee. I think all we have is the, uh, oh, no, in the pan. Oh, in the uh, pan. And then you can use some of the golden uh, ghee if you want. Good. Or the Thrive one, because I love gold. No, um, I'm, not, I'm not Thomas DeLauer's cameraman. I no. work with Bobby. I wasn't able to go on that trip. I had other stuff going on that week. Avo ghee. Oh, that's right. That's why someone mentioned Thomas. Yeah, the avo ghee we want to invent. Avo ghee. Um, what was I going to say also OMG. about that iPhone? I OG. forgot. So this weekend coming up are two awesome videos. I'm really excited. Actually, we have three or four videos coming up in a row. Tomorrow is our Costco haul. The 10 most healthy items at Costco right now, including our cookbook there. On Sunday is a bacon review. How to shop for and look for the best bacon at the grocery store and how to make perfect bacon at home. On Monday, I'm going to have a video for Bobby's holiday gift guide. 10 or 15 of my favorite kitchen items for the cook in your life. Uh, I think on Tuesday, I'll do a video for Desi and my apple coffee cake. We have a lot of videos done already, guys, which is rare. Normally, Art and I film on Monday or Tuesday, and it's that video for the week. We have so many done ahead of time. It's a Christmas miracle. I like it a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. Let me show these awesome keftas. They look really nice. I'm not going to lie. Those, so I just want to pan fry them. need a Weber. Oh, that'd be good. Uh, yeah, I just, well, I don't even have a Weber, but I have a KitchenAid grill, but I don't feel like firing that up. Fire up the gazpacho. So with this, I'll make the golden turmeric sauce, then I'll make a little crunchy slaw, put it family style on a platter. Happy days are here again, right? Don't get that song in my head. <laughs> it doesn't take much to get a song in Art's head. All right, we got 487 people on an early Friday evening in Chicago. How are, how are you all related? Is Art your brother or Desi's? <laughs> <laughs> Neither. Neither. Art is our brother from another mother. Even though Art and I look alike, we are not related. But we've known each other for a good 20 years. So that You just answered Corey P's question without me even asking it. They usually come one after another. That's true. All right, last one here. If you are allergic to pork and can only eat turkey, then go turkey. Go turkey. Get ground turkey thighs. Uh, sometimes they don't mark the thighs. It's so weird. So if you buy the ground turkey from Costco, it's a great price and it's organic. It is turkey thighs, because you can just tell by the color and feel of the meat. Turkey breasts are just way too lean. Stangman says you're getting a Weber from Santa. <laughs> I have no room. Wait until we move to a bigger house. I actually want um, a big green egg, or I want one of those wood pellet grills. Have you seen those? Those are really cool. Every time you use it, they have these wood pellets that burn and smoke the food. It looks super cool. Right, okay. 499. Not bad. I like it. So we're a little early tonight, like I said, because Art and I are going to Mariano's at 6 o'clock for a big meetup for the holidays. And we wanted to still do hashtag Fridays with Flav, so we didn't want to miss out. Okay, so come back here, are you? The pan smells lovely because we have that mix of the two fats. And I'm going to put a little more fat in there just so we get an even cook. I'm looking at the book and I don't see the almond flour in the recipe. What page is it on? I added that, actually. Who said that? Uh, Amy on, Duhon. You're on the ball. I added that, Amy, because in the book, it's ground turkey thigh, which is very creamy on its own. Ground pork is not the same texture, so I added that, just like I added to the meatballs recipe in the beef raising the steaks chapter. 
Good eye, Amy. High five. Nice. Okay, so now it's all about heat control. I really don't want to have this too hot because it's all about caramelizing the outside of the kefta without overdoing it. So let's make sure that they are warm enough here, the pan. Cody, Bobby is drinking S. It's spelled S-A, but it's that's right. S. Weber has a new pellet grill out. Oh, they do? Just dropped. So that's a new thing. They just dropped one in the middle of winter? Seems like a weird time. Hey, grilling season has no end. <laughs> my book. I'll yeah. be out there with my Weber. I want to... Grilling away in the blizzard. Art's old school, yeah. He likes the charcoal. charcoal. I definitely want to like... I'd like to have the gas one, too. Yeah, I like... I mean, I love gas because it's easy, easy. but... The wood, the wood pellet's pretty easy, too, to be honest. It does everything for you. It empties Boise, it into the... the Boise. So speaking of Boise, if you didn't hear me before, the cookbook is now in Costco, which is amazing. Art and I saw it this week, but it's only in 15 stores across the country, Boise being one of them. I put a full list in the description box. I need the Flav City family to get out there, tell their friends and family to buy a copy, because if it does sell out, like I hope it will, Costco will place a nationwide order. Think about how big that would be. That'd be like over 10, maybe 15,000 copies in every Costco across the land. It'd be a dream come true. So like I said, there's no stores on the West East Coast, which is very strange. And there's only one in California, but full list is down below, mostly Washington State, Colorado, Idaho. There's one store in California, one store in uh, uh, Arizona, very strange. But we have Flav City family members everywhere. But Art and I, saw it at our Chicago one. They were nice enough to put it in there so we can see it. And we were having a great time. Uh, we signed some copies at the Chicago one and hid them in the stack. And then people kind of came by and bought them and shared it on stories. It was really fun. Eric England, hi from Elgin. Elgin's the home of S. That's Company. right. Did he say that? Oh, I did. I threw oh, that part in. He said from Elgin. Not. So guys, just to get some more flavor, look what I'm doing here. Maggie B in the house. Welcome Maggie, Maggie B, the inventor of... There are no Texas Costco's in this initial There's blog. no uh, Texas. There's no Florida. The entire eastern seaboard has been shunned. Splatterguard, Bobby. Thank you. Kieran, Who said that? Kieran said that and also asked you, did you ever play Did you play any video games? No, I was not a gamer. I was not a gamer. Freeport in the house. Welcome. Yeah, I, I don't know what Costco's Freeport method Texas, of madness right? was, but they chose no Texas, which I love Texas and so does Art. No Florida, no East Coast, but like I said, if they place that big order, it's going to be a game changer. But the love from you guys is real. I put it on, on Instagram and Instagram stories and Facebook this weekend. So many people saw that. First of all, congratulated us. Then went out to the store and they took pictures from their Costco's in uh, Idaho, in uh, Washington State. And they said they were telling other people to buy it. Super, super cool stuff. Okay, now Arthurion. We have to make the... Yeah, you can still order it on Amazon. Order oh, yeah, yeah. This is just for Costco, which is still huge. But it's always going to be on Amazon. That link is down below also, or just search Flav City on Amazon. By the way, right now, every place that you have not been to is telling you you need to be there. Hey, listen. Give us some time so Rose can uh, grow up and start traveling a little bit, and then we will be there. So now I want to make this golden turmeric sauce from the book right here, right? To do that, I make a tahini sauce and I put turmeric in there. So what I'm doing is just zesting. I don't even have to zest it, to be honest. I'm just going to throw it in here. I'm going to put a couple cloves of garlic in there, and I'm going to squeeze some lemon juice in there. like I'm in the way. <laughs> You're always in the way. So why am I doing this? Because I want to marinate the raw garlic and get that raw flavor out of there. I've seen this question a few times. Most popular spice? Question mark. Uh, from me or in general? I think you were asking. I don't know if you gave the answer. Oh, I, yeah, I didn't give the answer. The most popular spice in the world is black pepper. Right? Some people overthink that. And they're like, oh, yeah, that totally makes sense. So I'm going to put the lemon juice in there. That lemon juice came scary close to going in my eye. Did it really? Yeah. <laughs> I also got a seed in here. So it's good to marinate the garlic just for a second. Okay. It's also nice to put a pinch of... That salt would not make the listeners happy. <laughs> and a little bit of pepper. Art's been sprayed by many things in the kitchen. Oil, water, lemon, lime. It doesn't phase him though. Just received your cookbook. Thank you so much. I'd love to hear that, my man. Sweet rose. By the way, everyone wish Art a happy Finnish Independence Day. 102 years today. To celebrate Art's mother baked. These. Her specialty. Finnish cinnamon rolls, which are not paleo, gluten-free, dairy-free, or not anything, <laughs> but they're so good. I had one, only one, and they're so good. So 
three cheers to Finland getting their independence from Russia. That's right. Is that it's a nice display there for any of you that might be watching in Finland. Yeah, it's on the uh, yeah, it's on, on the sofa. Yeah. I didn't want to walk on it. Yeah, that's very nice of you, Art. All right. I wish your husband happy Independence Day. Okay, so this is tahini. The thing about tahini is that it has to be runny, loose, and pourable. So look in there. If your tahini is thick, it's bitter. It should be very loose. That's why I don't buy it at uh, Trader Joe's because theirs is very thick. Thick means it's like the bottom of the barrel and it's very, very low quality. Look at this onion. Art just bought an onion at Whole Foods and it's rotten in the core. Wow. Come on, Whole Foods. Am I supposed to start peeling these at the store and check? <laughs> you know, I was going to put some raisins them? in the kefta, but I forgot. I'll put it in the salad instead. 1925, Eddie. Met you again at Costco Clyburn this week. I met you before at Pre Brands. Big fan. You guys are my fave on YouTube. What's your thoughts on Costco rotisserie chicken? Uh, uh, we know that. Yeah, we, we, we saw him this week, right? That's right. Yeah, we know him. Um, Costco rotisserie chicken is a big no because number one, it's not organic and it's fed GMO corn and soy. And it's one of those typical hen house chickens that never go outside. And uh, it's not the kind of thing you want to be eating. Even if you buy an organic chicken from. Uh, Whole Foods from the rotisserie, read the ingredients. It has like stuff like maltodextrin in there. The one is seasoned from Costco with carrageenan and phosphates. You don't want that. Almost zested my finger there. <laughs> okay, let's see how this guy is doing. It tastes like Bobby. He's a, a little je ne sais quoi of Bobby. I'm gonna put a little bit of turmeric in here. I guess we wouldn't know that, like, I don't know what Bobby tastes like, so it's like, be like it tastes weird. <laughs> Or it could be, this tastes amazing, what's different? I've zested my finger so many times. Really? So a little bit of turmeric will go in there. And then the key to making this, you guys, is also a little bit of ice water. Because I'm gonna blend it up, check this out, Art, with my stick blender. And instead of creating heat in there, I want it to stay nice and cold, because if you start to heat up the uh, tahini, it can get a little bitter. So some ice water will help. It's pretty much like an emulsion. It turns into something so thick and creamy like there'd be dairy in there, but there's not, it's unbelievable. So this is what I mean, check it out. By runny, loose, and pourable. That's what you want your tahini to look like. If it doesn't look like that, it's crap. Throw it away, it really is bad stuff. This is delicious. This is a company online. They actually sent it to me, very nice. Oh no, mighty Joseph, sesame. Joseph Minatella, uh Finnish cinnamon rolls. He thought you said spinach cinnamon rolls. Oh, no, rolls. Finnish, like the land and, of Finland. And, and Nada says, why don't you do a grocery store in Vons, Ralph's, or Stater Brothers? Is there in Chicago? We don't have any, we don't of, have those any of them. I never even we heard could, of that we one. We could go to Wisconsin. They got uh, Ralph's. And Ralph's is the ah. grocery store that the dude shopped at in uh, the Big Lebowski, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah. Ah. Uh -huh. Do you get most of your food sent to you? Well, it's funny. That's a good perk of my job. So, like, the S is sent to me, the tahini is. Uh, the keto wine is, um, but I only take stuff that I really like and is very clean, but now we're officially full. There's no room anymore, so now I'm saying no to everything. All right, check it out. Uh, somebody asked earlier, can you only get that wine online? Yes. Oh, oh, oh my God, look at this crust. Oi. Oh. <laughs> Oi, what are you, an old Jewish guy? Oi, Gavelt. Amy Duhan, love that you pronounced my name right. Oh, you're welcome, Amy. That's right. Wow. Oh, look at that, you guys. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. That's a crusty kebab. Oh. What you're, that's not cilantro. That's thyme there and there's parsley. Parsley, in yeah. The meat I didn't use any. Guys, this is what a hot pan's all about. Getting things nice and crusty like that, and that's why we use a splatter guard. Tina, the only Illinois Costco with the book is the one here in Lincoln Park. Yeah, so once again, all the Costco's, there's only 15 across the country that have the cookbook. I put the, the store list in the description box. So if I expand the description box, you'll see Oregon, Eugene, Salem, Bend, Central Point, Colorado, Colorado Springs, Timnith, Idaho, awesome. Boise, Nampa, California, Carlsbad. So mobilize the Flav City family because then after that, to have it at every Costco across the country would be amazing. But the only way that happens is if they have a successful run, which means they sell out basically. Uh, check the channel. We have done an HGB video. Yes, we have. Uh, the other question... You need a bigger kitchen. Yes, I do. Um, let's see. Yes, I do. We need oh, a bigger sorry, kitchen. I always apologize. I can't get to every question that comes in. I actually want here. a kitchen the size of our entire front of the house here. And I want a walk-in pantry. And that will happen in the next couple of years. Don't oh, worry. Why no cast iron pan? That was the question. I oh, you know, I was thinking about it. You can do it. Not a problem. 
I just find sometimes it actually gets too hot and burns the outside before the inside cooks, but I want an easy cleanup afterwards. Where do we get the keto wine? Uh, the keto wine's only online. So it's this company here, Art, Seco Wine Club. And if you use the Flav City promo code, you'll get $15 off shipping on three bottles or more of this. This is the keto line. It really is all keto, but this is the, the most popular line. And it's such a small company and they had like a small budget, but I love them anyway. We've sold over 500 bottles of wine. People are loving it. Uh, so Art, right, a little bit of ice water goes in here. What if we ask for a cookbook in Texas? So uh, yeah, go to yeah, Costco and suggest it. You know, let yeah. them know you want the book. Just there. ask for sure. So I blend this up now. And as it needs more water, I add it. And because we put the turmeric in there, it gets nice and yellow. And it was all yellow. So Please it needs- don't spray it on it. <laughs> Say it, don't spray it, what? I'm just watching that thing. I'm, I'm like looking down the barrel. It's gonna splash in. A little more. So this is why I use ice water to keep it nice and cold. Have you done a video about why you choose a paleo diet? We'd love to see it. Um, no, but we talk about that all the time. I mean, those are foods that are non-inflammatory, that make you feel good, don't slow down digestion, stuff like that. Okay, so that looks really nice. Look at the color of this golden sauce. It looks like aioli or something, right? What brand of knife was Bobby using? What oh, this one. Shun, oh, I got a bottle of wine in my way. Shun, S-H-U-N. So you guys, that's on my Amazon shop page. So if you go to amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City, or I put the link in the description box, I have it set up for the holidays with over 50 of my favorite kitchen gear. It's all on there. And you can see it from pots, pans, to knives, to, to everything, including splatter guard. Cause this is the oven safe splatter guard. <clears throat> Some come with a plastic handle and you can't put it in the oven. This one doesn't, so it goes from stove top to stove uh, oven, no problem at all. All right, so Art, these are done, I think. So look, they're basically just frying in ghee. So what I wanna do is make sure it's done. So I'm gonna take one out. You're doing great. Oh. And I wanna just cut it in half. Because it's pork, you wanna make sure that make it's cut through, it's cooked through. That's perfect. Look at that. And they're nice and soft. Look, they're not dense at all, right? We destroyed this one. We might as well try it. Mm -hmm. Ask your friends at Shun to sell internationally. They don't sell internationally? They don't have them there. Weird. You're in Dubai. Dubai. You guys should have everything there. Do they have your book in Houston's Costco? Nope. None of the Texas. None Costco in Texas. So once again, look in the description the box. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look in the description box. Those are the 15. People were outraged this weekend on Facebook and Instagram. They're like, why no East Coast? There's not one store on the East Coast. Why no Texas? Why no Florida? Don't ask me. They were like, Bobby, why don't you do that? It's not up to me. It's totally up to Costco. God, these are delicious. I'm gonna put one out here so Art can sample it too. It's, they have a method to their madness and hopefully- Is that for me to eat now? Uh, yeah, if you want, nice. of course. So now I'm gonna put the rest of these in the pan. Mm. The flavor and texture of these, you guys, mm. Right, it's delicious. Really job on the camera I'll I'm give you a towel. One second. Oh. Wow, you guys. First of all, the texture is great. It literally breaks apart in your mouth with very little resistance, which is very unusual for a kefta. Folks, this is a flavor explosion. This Isn't is it? Good. And it's seasoned really nice, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. That's the one thing. I'm always a proponent. When you read my thing, I tell you to season with authority because a lot of home cooks will go shy away on the... Uh, on the salt, and we talked about it earlier. I think about 70% of you guys said, yeah, pork is salty. Pork is not salty, bacon is salty. Pork is bland as can be, it needs a lot of love. Salt well, think of seasonings like cumin, smoked paprika, fresh thyme, citrus zest, that's what it's all about. Shaheen was asking if you put pistachios in this meat mixture. Uh, I didn't this time because I'm out. But in the book it actually calls for um, pecans because pistachios are not low carb. When so you, look at this art. Once again, check for seasoning, because even though that's a beautiful sauce, right? Give, give a little love to that golden sauce, right? I guarantee it needs more salt and lemon juice. Let's see. 
guys, uh, I'm here in person, obviously. It, the color difference between what I can see with my naked eye and the camera is dramatic. It's is it really? Pale, pale. Oh, wow. Like, real life is like a pasture-raised egg yolk. Yes. Color. Commercial cheap eggs on the screen here. Great point. So, Boost up the saturation if you can. <laughs> so that's actually really good. I just want a little more acid on there. And I think I want a little more garlic. You want some more garlic, Art? Everybody wants more garlic. I mean, we're only going to a fan meetup with about 250 people later on. It doesn't matter if my mouth smells like garlic, right? That's right. They're going to love me anyway, because that's how the Flav City family is. I really feel like we have one of the most supportive uh, communities on YouTube. We're not the biggest, right? Although we're getting pretty big. I just feel like people rally around the cause, spread the word. Even though that the share button and DMs and emails are popular, the amount of messages I get from people who say, hey, I told everyone at work about you, I told my classmates about you, I get so many messages like that and that's how you really spread the love because when you hear something directly from someone, it's a lot more impactful from like a messenger from Facebook saying, hey, check this out. Uh, Joseph, with a question for me, Art, when's the last time you had Costco pizza? Honestly, it was when we filmed that video, which means that was a year ago, right? I think I'm due for another slice of That was of over a year. That was October of last year, actually. Yeah, I'm due for another slice of Costco pizza. Uh, Shaheen, what you see on camera is far different from what you experience yourself. Yes, but the, the difference was dramatic this time. Like, I didn't notice just how off the colors are. I'm um, actually, screen. Art wants to try the chicken bake. Yeah, I want to try the chicken bake. <laughs> which is so weird. And those churros look so disgusting. The churros right? are good. They look I've disgusting. That's not a churro. That's a, that's a gringo churro. Still tastes good. Uh, Ladreon says, uh, yes, we love you, but brush your teeth before you go. <laughs> you have to do more than that with garlic. All right, so a little more salt and pepper and lemon juice. You see what I'm using, Art? I'm using a cordless stick blender. Look at this. This is on my Amazon shop page also. A lot of people are interested in that. And I know what to build on there because I get so many DMs on Instagram saying, hey, What's the pot you are using? What I have my knives on there, cheap and expensive one. I have my big cutting boards on there, meat, uh, wood and plastic. I have my salt cellars on there. I have my storage canisters like this on there. It's all there. Kitchen Granny, hello from Germany. Guten Nacht. Guten Nacht to you, Kitchen Granny. That's a great name, I like that. All right, so this is done. And this is so great because it's dairy free, but it has the texture. Look at that. Andreas is back. Guten oh, Abend. nice. Guten it looks Abend. like. It looks like mayonnaise. It almost looks like a hollandaise sauce, right? Yeah. But this... A little light. A little thicker. Yeah. 100% dairy-free, 100% vegan, and awesome. Wow. That is fire, you guys. Andreas asked how your Christmas shopping is coming along. Um, non-existent so far? <laughs> We're so busy creating content. So come over here, Art. That is here not Deutsch. These are frying really nicely. Look at the color. Art and I just had a sampler. Describe the flavor and texture of this art. Texture, nice crust to it. Uh, but inside was soft, it wasn't like too tough. Right. The flavor is just exploding. I mean, really, there was herb flavor from the time. The spices were just like, I don't know. Wow, very Art, good. so descriptive. Just, I know. This so is much more from Art than normal. He's yeah. like a chopped judge. Tantalizing with the spices. Wow, Art, very nice. Everyone's telling me that Costco chicken bake is gross. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I won't take your word for it. Kind of like reading Rainbow. Don't take my word for it. I'm going to try the chicken it, bake It myself. looks pretty gross, you guys. Like, pretty darn gross. That's going to defy, define your fan base in terms of ages if they know what reading Rainbow is. <laughs> so, I mean, look how quickly that came together, you guys. Obviously, we're talking and hanging out. But you can make those. You can actually double, triple the recipe and do it in the oven and bake them and make this sauce. And then you're pretty much three quarters of the way done with dinner. Now I'm just going to make the most simple slaw and serve it family style with a little bit of avocado, some cherries, some chilies. It's going to be lovely. Andreas, were you asking who here is German? I'm just looking at Kitchen Granny's responsive ich, and I'm wondering if that's what it meant. Okay, what's going on in the comments right now? We got 734 people for an early start. We normally start these around 5.30. Today we started at 3. So guys, let's get up to 1,000 today. Everyone time out. Time out on the field. Take the link from the stream, post it over to Instagram stories and Facebook wall and be like, yo, you might want to hang out with Bobby and Art on hashtag Fridays with Flav. They're making keto recipes that are literally next level. He's a best-selling author. His cookbook's in Costco. He's got great hair. Even though he's 41, he looks 31. And he is so darn funny. And Art's pretty good looking too. That's, you might want to put that on your wall. 
you can put whatever you want, right? Danke, Andreas. So let's make this slow. I'm gonna come down here and get a bowl. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Art almost tripped over Rose's high chair. This is a uh, Napa cabbage. It's really nice because it's uh, very tender. Mild flavor too. Yeah, mild flavor. Desi loves cabbage. So I'm actually gonna have it and then wash it. Is it supposed to be that yellow? The Napa? Yeah. That's yeah. Typically it's like a green. Uh, yeah, you know, it's been in here for a week, so maybe it's aging. That's probably what happened. But it's still fresh. It's not as bad as that red onion I bought you today. No, right, the fresh red onion. Get off of me. Let's wash it though. Do you only eat keto? Uh, no, so we do a keto paleo diet. Paleo yeah, because we love eating fruit. Desi likes to bake with uh, some tapioca starch here and there, a little bit of arrowroot starch, but we don't eat many grains at all. The only exception we make <laughs> is when it's Finnish Independence Day and Art's mom say. makes cinnamon rolls. But grains for us and for many people are, are inflammatory. They mess up your digestive system. They just don't make you feel good. But whereas keto allows you to eat a lot of dairy, paleo doesn't, and we don't eat much dairy, but we love eating all kinds of fruit. So that's why a keto paleo diet works 100% with us. Happy early Christmas to you too, sad kid. Sasuke Uchiha. So I wanna in the dark thinly side. slice, you know, I think the longest these, uh, name, I've ever, longest like screen name I've really? ever seen. Yeah, it's like a sentence. All right, so check it out. We're gonna evacuate the dance floor for these guys. Have you heard of the Wegmans Grocery Store in the Northeast? Which one? Have you heard of the Wegmans Grocery Store? I've heard of it, yeah. People ask about it quite a bit. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to get there. So look at this. These are just gorgeous, you guys. They're you so from crusty. Your binge. Yeah, I couldn't fall asleep that day until two in the morning, and it was pretty rough. Those look really good. These look um, actually better than I imagined. Folks, I'm looking to devour some of these keftas because that little sample I had <laughs> really good. But Art and I, and Desi and Rose filmed two more videos at a regular Starbucks last week, and we got 10 drinks and did a full review, and 10 or so food items and did a full food review. Scary stuff, guys. Starbucks is using a lot of carrageenan. The sugar levels in these drinks, like a peppermint mochaccino or whatever, has like 40 to 45 grams of sugar, 15 of which are from the milk, but we're talking about then 25 to 30 grams of additional sugar. That's like eight teaspoons of white sugar in there. That's Literally diabetes at that point. That's really scary stuff. So we tell you what to what to order, what to avoid, and why. And Desi and I actually do our own DIY Starbucks at the store with stevia and a coffee frother. That it's it's going to look kind of ridiculous, but I'd highly recommend doing that because some of those drinks are dastardly and so cloyingly sweet. Desi and I don't eat sugar that often, and if we do, we eat coconut sugar. We tried a couple of those drinks. And it was so cloyingly sweet, we couldn't even swallow it. It was like, wow. Sayla asked how many books you have left. Uh, signed cookbooks? We're pretty much out right now. I'm actually hoping UPS comes in the next hour because I ordered some more for the meetup tonight, but I don't know if they're going to come, which is going to How old is Rose and will you be making her own baby food? Wow, good question. So Rose will turn six months tomorrow and tomorrow we'll be giving her her first ever solid food. And what do you guys think it'll be? Do you think it'll be a banana, avocado, an egg yolk? What do you think? And yeah, we're gonna make baby food and we're gonna share all of what we're doing and the recipes and uh, transition everything. So what do you guys think is gonna be her first food? Eventually she'll eat all of that. Uh, Corey says a sweet potato, Andrea says an egg yolk, Shaheen says a soft egg, Clarissa says an egg yolk, Stephanie says an avo. I feel like a few of those guys learned on uh, Instagram stories. Yeah, it's gonna be a pasture raised egg yolk, which is tons of tons of really good fat in there. Avocado will follow that, bananas will follow that. Then we'll do purees. We're actually gonna take like uh, pasture raised uh, beef livers and chicken livers and steep those or cook those for a long time in bone broth and puree it and give it to her. It's gonna be awesome. When will you be uploading the Starbucks video? Um, I wanna say it's gonna be next week. Okay, so Napa cabbage is in there. We need a little bit of sweetness in the form of organic Thompson raisins. I'm gonna break on through to the other side. Do it, Holmes. We need a little bit of crunch in there. Let's put some, let's see. Oh, interesting. Eric England, who I remember is in Elgin, 
It would be awesome if you took a mini road trip to the original Mariano's in Arlington Heights. I'm the meat and seafood monger over here. It would be great to meet you all. Oh, really? Did you see our you seafood video? I was filmed at Mariano's in front of the uh, seafood monger. It was really cool. A little bit of crunch. We'll add some walnuts. I shouldn't be using Jesse's mom's I walnuts. Say it. Those aren't no, I don't want to use these. Now they're wet. They're I have to use them. Use them. Oh! We'll pretend they're Bulgarian. These are swill. I'm not even joking, guys. The flavor of these walnuts compared to these. These are like sweatshop Walmart. It, it is. It's night and day. These are Bulgarian walnuts from Desi's mom. She sent Welcome. them to us. These are so Hello, much Charlie tastier. Charlie from Alaska. Welcome. So much tastier. The Bulgarian walnuts. Mm. The ones from Trader Joe's, they almost taste like they're a little old and bitter. Like meat. Please help. Is tapioca or xanthan gum good for thickening sauces? Both are great. Absolutely. Xanthan gum is even more thick, so be careful how much you would use. I would just make a slurry with like one tablespoon of tapioca and one tablespoon or two tablespoons of uh, water and use that. Because xanthan can be a little slimy. When to use walnuts versus almonds? Whenever I want. It's 100% a uh, preference kind of thing. But man, those walnuts are gangbusters. Very, very simple. You know, I should probably do a little more uh, Napa cabbage. So we're doing great, guys. We've only been cooking now for 55 minutes. Most of that, to be honest, is talking. And dinner's almost ready. Art and I want to be out of here by 5. So we're good to go. A little more here. <clears throat> Your shirt says New York City style, but what about deep dish? I actually like thin New York City style Traitor, over deep dish. Get out I of know. The city, he's going to be banished. To be I fair, I I don't love New York as much as I love the uh, Napolitanian. Thin Naples style pizza is Desi and my favorite. Chicago art loves it, and I like it. I just don't love it. For me, it's not real pizza. It's pizza pie, but it just doesn't do it for me. Okay. Let's pack up your bags. <laughs> it's my house. Uh, Eric, yeah, good point. Uh, <laughs> minor detail. Eric said, yes, I saw that. It was great. Also, I got my autographed cookbook from you. Thanks so much. Nice, so, Eric. I'd love to hear it. Love to hear that. Okay, now we can dress this very, very simply with up, Andy P? salt. So a lot of people don't season their salt. Think about that. That's all bland cabbage in there. It needs love. So salt, pepper, and then I'm going to do lemon juice and olive oil and that's it but then we're going to garnish it and make it really pretty somebody wants to see that mini oven you put the keftas into oh sure come over there Here this is, is a mini KitchenAid oven i love it for just keeping things warm or reheating stuff for uh for lunch it's really useful that actually isn't on my amazon store i should put that there but like I said, in a video coming out Monday will be all of my favorite kitchen gear for the chef in your life. This is when you want to break out the really good extra virgin olive oil. See the color on that? Golden like the Tuscan sun, I'd say, Art, right? If it's Tuscan olive oil. <laughs> and then I need some lemon juice. Shaheen asks, won't the sauce that already has salt make the cabbage more salty? Nope. So it's all about seasoning at every step of the cooking process. Shaheen, my dressing has to be seasoned and salted. My salad has to be seasoned and salted. So everything together, when you bite, is seasoned perfectly. Sherry Howe knows what I'm talking about. Lou Malnati's pizza all the way, thinner stuff. <laughs> you know what? That's the wisest thing I've seen Sherry, all week. Sherry, I will admit, the thin Malnati's is actually very nice. It's a very good pizza. And so is the uh, deep dish. But a Napolitanian pizza baked in that Naples oven made from uh, stone from Naples. That's it's just for me. Right. That is where it's at, homie. The Italians invented pizza. The Malnati family perfected it. That's yeah, crazy. I don't agree with that at all. They did not perfect pizza. Oh, totally, dude. That's silly. And on this topic, there can be a no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Poppy. So I want this to be on the slightly acidic side. If you can think of anything else to add to this, let me know. But it's supposed to be a very simple simple salad. Tons of fiber. So a lot of people don't realize that fiber rich foods are also called prebiotics because these kind of fibers feed the good gut bacteria in your stomach. And that's really important. So not only is green cabbage very keto friendly, it's very gut friendly, which is super important because that's where that the backbone of your health, your body really lives. 
Let's try this. Okay, what? Jalisa, can you speak the last one? Mm. Not, not an emoji. Oh, nice. Can you do keto steak and... Potatoes. Okay. That you can do it. On the small screen, it's tough to figure that you one can't, out. That's impossible, me, Jalisa. You can do a paleo version of that. And that's why we gravitate more toward keto paleo because I like to eat sweet potatoes. You can't do that on paleo. I like to eat strawberries and, well, strawberries are keto. Mangoes and apples, you can't do that on keto. I like to eat these. Look, our, these are dried Bing cherries. Delicious from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's, but look, they're not sulfured. Anytime you see fruit, it says unsulfured. That's what you want. Sulfur is a preservative that you don't want in your body. You can buy unsulfured or unsorbated prunes, apricots, and cherries at uh, Trader Joe's. They're delicious. 1925 Eddie, Poppy is Sloppy. <laughs> Greg Torres, Art, is organic oatmeal good? I like it, I eat it almost every day. Thank you, Shaheen. I actually forgot, pomegranate pearls? I totally meant to do that, and it's pomegranate season right now. Can you see how big this pomegranate is? Costco has a box of six pomegranates for $18. A lot of people think that's pricey, but within this one pommy, there's so much seeds, I'll show you. Because Desi and I actually slapped out the seeds from this, and it was four times the amount of those little cups that have the seeds in them already. So this is way cheaper. Woodman's has a pretty darn good deal too. I wonder how many regular size pomegranates really? that is. Yeah, like really cheap. Well, yeah, I mean, if, if someone has a, a special a sale. Here, though, I know that. Yeah, maybe, it's, but I'm telling you, because a lot of times people buy those cups that have the seeds in there, that's actually the worst deal ever. Can you eat cabbage with your broth and almost braise it? Yes, you can. We have recipe in the cookbook for that too. I'm okay. going to make a chicken peri-peri in my Instant Pot and need a thickener. I have xanthan gum, almond flour, and chia seeds. Any suggestions? Uh, chia seeds won't work. Almond flour won't work. The only thing you can do is xanthan gum, but add a little bit at a time. I'm talking like a quarter teaspoon at a time and do it at the end. So let me show you actually in the book, if you go, check this out, Art. If you go to the chapter called Pork, your one-stop chop on 193 here. There is a lovely cabbage. Yeah, right here. Pork chops roulade with cabbage stew. So it's pork chops stuffed with uh, spinach and nuts and olives, seared and then braised in a cabbage stew for about an hour. So yummy. And like all recipes in the cookbook, it tells you right here, this one is paleo, egg-free, dairy-free, and it's a meal prep. And tells you if there's a YouTube video about it too. And the macros for every single recipe in the book just has 10.8 grams of serving for the cabbage and 1.1 for the pork. And just like every recipe in the cookbook, it has a photo, right? Look at that. Salmon burgers with uh, keto fat bread buns, uh, salmon, pilaf, blistered snow peas, coffee rub skirt steak with salsa verde, uh, low carb shirataki noodle stir fry with salmon cakes. That's the beauty of this book, you guys. That's why Costco, it'll sell out because of you guys, all that good stuff. So let's put all that yummy slaw right here and make a bed out of that. What about konjac as a thickener? Uh, yeah, that would work too, if you have that. That's what the noodles are made out of in the cookbook. They're konjac flour, which are actually very high in fiber, which is another prebiotic. So you're just doing yourself a huge, huge uh, service when you're doing that. So now, let me cut open the pomegranate. And whenever I do this, I do it on a dedicated cutting board. This is my turmeric cutting board. Can you see why? It is stained yellow like a mandala, right? Welcome, Sahar. So I'll cut this guy. And That's these, some cilantro, Shaheen says. Um, I only have parsley, but I'll use that, Shaheen. I just don't use that much cilantro. Can you make your own t-shirts? Um, the ones that usually do make your own are kind of like low quality, I feel like. Amy says, please video Rose when she takes her first bite. We want to see her expression. Oh, for sure. It's going to be on Instagram stories. So Apple just hold your pomegranate over and spank it around like this. I know there's other ways to do it. Some people are slicing the top piece out and then segmenting it. But this works really well, actually. Uh, apple is good for slaw. Yeah, apple would be lovely, but I want to keep this more Moroccan or Middle Eastern. So see, all the seeds fly out and the membranes stay behind here. So I'll leave that there. Great call, Shaheen. And I was going to forget that, 
But she he's like my sister from another mister. She always reminds me, suggests things. And sometimes tells me what I'm doing wrong. Corey P. Rose, please wake up. We all need you to see, she, we all need to see you before She Dad just woke up, so you're, you're in good, good timing there. Smack, Shaheen oh, says. Oh, thank you. See? What did I just and say? I think, I think Nada was asking for that earlier, Yeah, too, be right back. Let me grab the sumac. Do you ever consume MCT oil? Uh, MCT powder I consume in my shake almost every day. Not so, MCT oil on its own. No, because it tends to float to the surface when I put it in smoothies. So here's my bag of excess spices here. Let me try to find the sumac. There we go. Check it out, Art. The sumac is a Mediterranean bush, and the leaves are dried, and it's a lovely flavor. It's almost a little, like, sour. Just really nice. Very nice. But first, I want to take this avocado. I think the garnishes really are what kind of make this next level, and you serve it family style like this. Look at that beautiful avocado. Whole Foods has had great deals on avocados lately, and I know they're not as cheap as Aldi, but the advantage of that is that they're always ripe and they're always perfect. You never get one that's really nasty and brown, and you never get one that's like watery and hard. They're really, really consistent, which I don't mind paying a little more, but right now they're on sale and you get Two big organic avocados. Patricia Mamani, five dollars. Hello from Missouri. Oh. Thank you for everything. Just ordered your book. Thank you. Wow, Patricia, so thank kind. you so much. That is awesome. So we'll put the avocados around there. Nineteen twenty-five. Eddie never saw that with banging the pomegranate. Really? Yeah. People are all about opening it up on the top lately, but I find it doesn't work quite as well. It's it's cool, but and we'll take a little bit of red chili. Banging right? the pomegranate isn't that almost like rocking the caspa? <laughs> It's very close. Same right? concept, I think. So Art picked up some red finger chilies today for me at Whole Foods. I was going to ask how expensive are the avocados now over there due to tariffs? Um, they're not that expensive at all. They've gone down a little bit. Oh, oh look who's in the house, everyone. Put your hands together for Rose Honey Parish. Mwah. She'll be six years old or six, six months old tomorrow. Time goes by fast, but not that fast. Hello, Misha. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hey, sweet Pete McGee. Hello. <laughs> Rose just had a nap. We had a big photo shoot for uh, Christmas. Got her all dressed up. Right, sweetie? So Daddy's putting the finishing touches on a little Moroccan kefta dinner here, sweet Pete. Shaheen thinks that Rose is looking like Bobby here. Really? Ooh. Wow, Shaheen. That's a bold call. Thank you. You're getting a lot of gorgeous and cute comments here Aww. about Rose. Rose. I'm glad other people think so, too. We can't get enough of her. I actually miss her at night when we're sleeping. I'm like, oh, I miss her. And then when I wake up, I'm so happy. Have you ever had caribou meat? I have never had caribou meat. I want to think maybe... Uh, I've had caribou hot, coffee. Hot dogs, <laughs> hot dogs may have had some caribou sausage. Oh, really? I have to think. If I had it, it was there. But. So we have a little bit of these cherry tomatoes from Mighty, <clears throat> Mighty Vine. It's a small company in Roselle, Illinois, and they grow their tomatoes in a hothouse, but they're really high quality tomatoes. They're not your typical like hard white tomatoes that have no flavor, <clears throat> and they're available year round. Bobby choking on food like usual. Okay, that's good. What else? All right, let's put... back, Desi. <laughs> we'll bring her back. All right, so now we take our beautiful kefta. Once again, look at these, you guys. Pork kefta, not halal, right? But you can use ground turkey or ground beef. Absolutely beautiful, cooked through, and you dot this. Imagine bringing this platter to the table for your next dinner party or your next even weeknight meal. Your family, your friends are gonna love it. It's 100% paleo. It's keto. It's loaded with good fat, good fiber, good oil. This is what healthy eating is all about. This is why we wrote the book, right? Because you want to eat this kind of food when you're dieting or trying to eat paleo or keto. You don't want to eat boring food that is steamed and has no flavor and no texture. That's boring. This is what eating is all about right here. So then we're aren't not you, done. Aren't you going to dress the salad with the dressing? No, that's not dressing. This is the garnish. 
right? So I'm gonna take my sauce now. Come on, this is Marty's the- right, we need to get the likes up on this thing. Yeah, well, I think the likes will go up once they see this. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, babe. Look at that. Oh, so hot. Want to touch the hiney. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> and then, stay there. The sumac, right? It's all about the garnishes with this dish. That's what we're talking about in that one. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure someone knows it. Where's Joseph Finley? Might be early for Joseph. A little bit of sumac, and then we'll take a little bit of that really good EVOO on top. And my friends, oh, come on. Give me some love. Give me some likes. I want to see those likes go from 168 to 200 right now. Because who does this kind of food, right? We do. Mr. We Carnage, do. This dish is art approved. I mean, come on. Juicy pork kefta. With parsley, almond Bobby, meal. Parsley, Bobby, oh, parsley. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we're going to redo this part. How, yeah. yeah Everyone pretend gone. that didn't happen. Mulligan. I mean, you have everything you want. You have texture. Yeah, come back, Rose. You have texture in here. How beautiful is that, sweetie? Okay. Break out your camera. This is cookbook yeah. worthy. This should go in the next cookbook, Morshant. Mm -hmm. Right? I mean, this is the food you want to eat. Daddy. This is my zone, baby. All right, once again, here it is. Keto Paleo Pork Kefta with spices, red onions, and almond flour with a golden turmeric tahini sauce and a crunchy cabbage slaw with pomegranates, Bing cherries, and tomatoes. This is what healthy eating is all about. This is why the book has taken off because people are like, wow, I can eat these recipes when you're on a low-carb diet? Rose, you were right there. You were in mommy's belly and she was sucking in so hard for this photo. And then after that, there was no sucking in anymore, yeah. right? Mwah. Right, mama? Maybe you'll be on the cover of the next book. What do you think so? So let me feed Desi a piece and then Uncle Farturo can come in here. Let me give you a nice bite. No chilies for Desi. Wow, man. You're the Keftemeister. <laughs> the, Ju mean, the Jewish guy from Chicago is the Keftemeister. Mm, I love the char on the <laughs> Kefta. Mm -hmm. Pork the is so flavorful, right? So flavorful. Because even more fat, too. Mm -hmm. With tahini sauce. Wow. Banging, right? Bon. Desi loves mm. tahini sauce. Loves it. And I made extra for you. Mm. The crust on the Kefta is the bomb. Though. And that was a nonstick pan. I mean, really? I didn't even use the cast iron. Isn't that wow. crazy? Crazy, so uh, good. Babe. All right, come in here and try this. Let's switch. Wow, I'm really, really happy with this, guys. And see, that's the beauty of a cookbook. You can take different recipes and mash them up. Right. It's not cooking. It's it's not baking. It's cooking. You can do anything you want. Everyone, say hello to Arthur right. Almacy the Third. The afternoon's getting that's really right. good now. If I can get it on the fork. Look at look at yeah. Rose just eyeing that. <laughs> what do you think, young lady? Huh? Am I cute, sweet? Did you have a good nap? Very good. No Cubs t shirt today. It's finish day, so he's Eat wearing this. the blue and the white. That's right. You know? Which kind of Cubs shirt would work a little bit too, but <laughs> blue, a little bit white. Very good. Oh. Not nice. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Uh, Delicious, huh? Delicious. Uh, Rose, very soon I can make you a rose version of this with very little spice, right? Let's get some nice crusty pasture-raised pork for you or some lamb. <sighs> Doesn't that sound good, mama? Mm -hmm. Huh? Doesn't that sound good? Yes. Yeah, that rose good. one. That's good. I want to eat more of that. Yeah, well, we can. That's why I made a whole platter. It's nice to serve this Where's family style, too. <laughs> this is mine. Yeah, let's eat. Yeah, we have, how long do we have, Art? We have... About an hour before we gotta leave. So commence shoveling. <laughs> now we got we got enough time. So all right, that is it, you guys. Great time hanging out. Four more videos coming in the next four days from the grocery store, from the kitchen. Good times had by all. But from Desi, from Sweet Baby Rose to Art to me, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. peace. See y'all. Costco links down below. Please mobilize the Flav City family. We can do it, y'all.